Welcome back. So if you're a fan of this show, then you know I've been chasing after election fraud like it's a, a millipede that's gotten on my pants leg. You know, I, I haven't let it go. Why have I been doing that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just because we're witnessing the theft of our so-called democracy, our so-called democratic republic. And the mainstream media refuses to mention it. Can't even mention it. Like, like, it's like they've got bad gas at a meditation retreat. They're just sitting there going, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. This is not happening. That's, they, they won't mention election fraud. And I realize the mainstream media is telling you this primary race is over. It's done. But election fraud doesn't end. It keeps happening again and again until it's stopped. I, you know, I've talked about how the, the unadjusted uh, exit polls meaning the exit polls before they've been changed to cover fraud have been way off. They've been way off. And Bernie Sanders played to massive stadiums full of people while Hillary Clinton played to like a half empty high school gymnasiums. That doesn't seem odd to anyone else. I'm the only one that seems a little baffled by that. Bernie's at the Staples Center and Hillary is underneath the monkey bars at St. Catherine's School for Young Ladies. That's normal. That seems fine to everyone, but this fight is not over. A few nights ago, the Institute for American Democracy and Election Integrity got together uh, author and professor of political science, Bob Fitrakis, and lawyer Cliff Arnbeck to talk about the lawsuits they've filed, they are filing concerning this election fraud. Here's what Arnbeck said about the, uh, the exit polls. We are filing, filing a lawsuit which will uh, put the spotlight on these exit polls. We, anno we announced we were going to file such a lawsuit to compel the news media to report the actual exit poll results so that the public would know if there's apparent fraud. And guess what the media did? They canceled the exit poll. You're going to sue us to make us make it public? Or we just won't do it. That's right. They canceled the exit polls for New Jersey and California and the remaining primaries. This is like when cops are forced to wear body cameras and then their body cameras mysteriously turn off just before every violent interaction. Funny how that works. I, I, guess, the, I guess the cameras were just uh, allergic to police brutality. That, that, that must be it. Anyway, once this lawsuit goes through, if it goes through, Arnbeck says the exit poll data will be out and the election fraud will be obvious. And these guys are not new to this, all right? This is not their first trip to the rodeo? Is that the expression? They've been battling election fraud in state and federal court since 2004. It's quite likely they saved Obama's reelection in 2012. I won't get into the details, but basically they knew that the Ohio vote was being hacked and they were in the courts dealing with that prospect. And, and here, watch this, watch this clip. We were keeping the FBI informed every step of the way. And, and election night, the FBI was in the Secretary of State's office. All right, the FBI probably also had wiretaps. 2012? 2012. All right, so on election night, Karl Rove is on Fox News. They call the election in Ohio for Obama. And Karl Rove says, wait a minute. All the votes aren't in yet. You're, it's premature. And he basically goes into a fight with, with the Fox News people. And their experts come out and say, no, Carl, we looked at it, the numbers are there. And here's what's the real story. And it's written up in Washington Spectator that, that no one told Carl that the fix was off because the scrutiny was on. I don't know if you remember that, but it was amazing. Carl Rove lost his shit because no one told him Ohio wasn't going to be hacked. He still thought that there would be a hack for Romney that would give him the presidency. So, so, so uh, Romney lost and, and uh, uh, Karl Rove lost his mind, sweat pouring down like a stuck pig. And he kept insisting that Obama hadn't won yet. 
But then again, they, you know, we, we, we should probably be careful making Karl Rove scared and confused. Last time that happened, he uh, made Bush invade Iraq. So let's not push it. Anyway, the lawyers who did that are now working on this election fraud for this primary. And we're seeing, you know, we're seeing it perpetrated against Bernie Sanders. So play the next clip. We have identified which precincts in this country the fraud has occurred, and we will be going into court with a demand to inspect the ballots. We will digitally photograph the ballots, and then we will have ballots, we can count them, we can do it publicly, everybody can observe or participate. You want to recount them yourself to check it? We'll have them. The, the, the fix is on. They've done it. They've done it. They've stolen again, 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 again. They're serial uh, uh, vote thieves. And we've got the evidence. We've got the know-how. We've got the experts. We've got the mechanism of courts that understand the problem, and we're going after it. We're going to be filing a racketeering lawsuit. So there you have it. This is not a joke. A racketeering lawsuit exposing this election fraud. Now, do I have to take Cliff Arnbeck and Bob Fitrakis' word on this? You know, when, when they say they have the know-how, they have the evidence? Yeah, I, I do. And do I wish that this announcement were not made in a small Sunday school classroom, I guess? Yeah, yeah, I do. However, like I said, these are not some morons in their basement just smoking weed, watching reruns of MacGyver and giggling about exposing election fraud. That's my life, all right? Not theirs. That's for me. That's for me to have. Bob Fitrakis has been at this for over a decade. So what does this mean for the nomination process for president? In my opinion, Hillary Clinton has been used for the purpose of scuttling Bernie Sanders' campaign for president. She's being used. And, and, but the, but the, they, they've been caught. Everybody's going to see it, and the game is over. Bernie's, yeah. Bernie's, Bernie has won, in fact, and he will win officially. That's huge. That's massive. And I hope to all that is holy that he's right. And I'm not just saying that because I think Bernie Sanders is much better than corporate Wall Street, Walmart, Monsanto, Goldman Sachs, other evil stuff, insert here, Hillary Clinton. I, I do think that, but I'm saying this now because we have to uncover these fraudulent elections. We cannot continue to go down this path of every four years, a certain percentage of elections are stolen, and a certain percentage of voting machines are hacked or changed or whatever, and we just keep humming along like sheep. But at least sheep know they're f***ing sheep. At least they got that going. They're walking around like, I'm a sheep. You're, you're, we're, we're sheep. We're walking around going, I'm an independent person who thinks for myself. No, no, most of us are not. A lot of us are sheep who have accepted the corporate media paradigm that's been fed to us. So we have to look into and stop these stolen elections, no matter who wins at the end. To learn more about this and support the election fraud lawsuits, you can go to trustvote.org. Peter, are we framed up to do this thing? Yes. Well, I mean, I can such you gotta, I'm just gonna stand here forever before you let me know what's going on. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. If you guys are enjoying Redacted tonight, make sure to click subscribe right here. And don't forget, you can watch other videos here. Uh, keep fighting.